Welcome to another video from Valencia Photography Workshops. In this one, I unbox the Lomography Digitalizer 120 Scanning Mask. Hi, I'm Stephen Power. I'm a photographer and photography teacher based on Valencia Island in County Kerry, Ireland. I've been a photographer for about 40 years and started um, with film cameras. And it's only recently that I wanted to get back into using film and almost as a project rather than buying something really fancy and expensive. I, I had on my shelf this very old Zeiss Icon Netar, um, which I also bought a range find. It's got no way of focusing through the lens in it or uh, through the range finders, got no autofocus system or anything. Um, so it's just a very simple 120 camera and um, I set about photographing some of the natural features on the island where I live, standing stones and uh, gravestones and that sort of thing. Um, and I've ended up with a set of negatives, 120 negatives, which I've processed at home. You can see another video about how I did that. And I then needed to get them into the computer. So what I decided to do was rather than buy an expensive flatbed scanner, and some of them are really not that good for scanning film unless you spend a lot of money on them, maybe even into four figures. So I decided to set up a very simple um, scanning system myself. Um, I've got a video about that as well. And first of all, I put the negatives into this um, f film holder that was designed for a flatbed scanner. Bought it from Amazon. It's made in China. And it's okay. It's fine. Um, seems to work reasonably well. But then I heard about something else, which was this. The Lomography digi Digitalizer. Um, it's a 120 film scanning mask and it's just arrived so I thought I'd unbox it for you see what's in it and then we'll make another video and test it out and see how it actually works first thing you notice is how nicely packaged it is it's very nice uh, flip up front and an inside um, some imagery inside. On the front it says no more having to squeeze medium format film into standard frames. Get the max out of your 120 film and scan any special picture format in its full length unabridged beauty. So we'll see. Actually underneath here it says for all modern flatbed scanners with a backlit unit. Now I would take some kind of exception to that because you definitely need to have the right flatbed, flatbed scanner with a wide enough uh, backlight panel if you like. The lighting panel has to be wide enough for 120 if you're using 120 film, medium format film, which this is for. Okay so let's open the package and see what we've got inside. So, I've put the box to one side and in here we've got a top piece. I need to do this back to front so it's a bit difficult with some magnets. So clips shut very firmly. That sounds nice. Okay, and then inside here we have the instructions, step-by-step -step instructions. 
and underneath, wrapped in tissue paper. What have we got here? Let's have a look. I have to say, it's the whole thing is very nicely wrapped and packaged. Now, two pieces. Um, I think this is the top unit, which fits nicely into that, like that. And we have a bottom plate, which goes under there. So that's a quick unboxing of the Lomography Digitalizer 120 film scanning mask. I have to say I'm quite impressed with the production quality of it. It feels solid, it feels firm and it's very well packaged, quite beautifully packaged um, to catch the eye I, I imagine. and. Um, it looks promising in terms of holding the film. So have a look at my next video when I put it together with a piece of film and get it ready for scanning uh, the photograph. I'll see you in part two.